Does anyone remember that episode of Sabrina the Teenage Witch where she had a study date with Harvey? And at the start of the episode, this happens. Now, cells reproduce by mitosis. Thank you for joining us, Miss Spellman. <laughs> Just about to tell the class what mitosis is. Do you know? It's a science thing. <laughs> Listen closely. You just might learn something. And then this. Mitosis is. Mitosis is. And then this. Should we get back to mitosis is? Yeah, right. I remember watching this as a kid and thinking, oh my god, this mitosis thing must be the most complex thing ever. But it turns out that I was terrified for no reason, because mitosis is cell division. And cell division, as it sounds, produces two new cells that are identical to each other from one cell that has divided. This cycle of division, known as the cell cycle, is the mechanism by which all living things reproduce, where the cell duplicates its contents and then divides in two. But I don't want to get into the whole entire process of the cell cycle just yet. We're just going to focus on a little bit of the cell cycle today, and that little bit is mitosis. So mitosis occurs in M phase of the cell cycle, and just briefly, the time between one M phase and the next is called interphase. And interphase includes the remaining three phases of the cell cycle, where the cell increases in size, the DNA of the chromosomes is replicated, and the centrosome is duplicated. And then mitosis is where the cell divides once all this is done. The first five stages of M phase, prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, constitute mitosis, and cytoplasmic division, or cytokinesis, which constitutes the final stage of M phase, begins before mitosis ends. Now, some textbooks list four stages by including prometaphase into prophase, so you can just call it what you want. Yeah, call it what you want to. Before nuclear division or mitosis begins, each chromosome has been duplicated and consists of two identical sister chromatids held together along their length by cohesion proteins. During mitosis, the cohesion proteins are cleaved, so they're separated, and the sister chromatids split apart. And the resulting daughter chromosomes are pulled to opposite poles of the cell by the mitotic spindle. So let's start at the start with prophase. At prophase, the duplicated chromosomes, each consisting of two closely associated sister chromatids, condense, so they get really compact in the nucleus. Outside the nucleus, the mitotic spindle assembles between the two centrosomes, which have begun to move apart. The spindle is a structure made of microtubules, which are fibres which are part of the cell skeleton. And then we've got prometaphase. This starts abruptly with the breakdown of the nuclear envelope, so the chromosomes have been released from the nucleus, and they can now attach to spindle microtubules, which as we said are outside the nucleus. And at metaphase, the chromosomes are aligned at the equator of the spindle, midway between the spindle poles. The kinetic or microtubules on each sister chromatid attach to opposite poles of the spindle. And at anaphase, the sister chromatids separate and are pulled slowly towards the spindle pole to which they are attached. The kinetic or microtubules get shorter and the spindle poles also move apart, both contributing to chromosome segregation. During telophase, the two sets of chromosomes arrive at the poles of the spindle, a new nuclear envelope reassembles around each set, completing the formation of two nuclei and marking the end of mitosis. The division of the cytoplasm begins with the assembly of the contractile ring. During cytokinesis of an animal cell, the cytoplasm is divided in two by a contractile ring of actin and myosin filaments, which pinches the cell into two daughter cells, each with one nucleus. So overall, I guess, in summary, chromosomes condense and the mitotic spindle starts to assemble in prophase. Chromosomes attach to the mitotic spindle at prometaphase. Chromosomes line up with the spindle equator at metaphase. Chromosomes segregate during anaphase, and the nuclear envelope reforms at telophase. Finally, cytokinesis, the process by which the cytoplasm is cleaved in two, completes M phase. It usually begins in anaphase, but is not completed until the two daughter nuclei have formed in telophase. When cytokinesis is completed, two new cells are produced, each with a complete set of chromosomes identical to those of the parent cell. The daughter cells, or the cells produced by mitosis, may undergo mitosis themselves, repeating the cycle. I hope you liked my video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos like this, just hit subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, do you know where to go to do that? And thanks for watching. Bye!